Well, in every Olympics, there is a moment that is remembered for years to come. Back in 2016 in Rio, this was the moment. A Taekwondo athlete from Tonga, a Polynesian kingdom in the South Pacific, turning heads when he walked out for the opening ceremony, shirtless and very shiny. Now, Pita Tafatofua is back for a third time at the Olympics, and he is joining us live tonight from Tokyo. Pita, <laughs> I hardly recognize you with a shirt on. Ah, thank you. <laughs> I, I'm going to take that as a compliment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Rob dared me to say that. Okay, so congratulations. You've made history, as I said. You are the first person to compete in three straight Olympics, both summer and winter events. How has this year in Tokyo been for you? I, it's quite funny because I only just uh, I only just found out about that uh, yesterday that I was the first person to do three successive events. But so far, the Olympics has been amazing. It's just been such a great experience. Uh, the vibe here is fantastic. And uh, everyone, everyone has been so friendly. All the, you know, the, the Japanese volunteers, uh, just everything here has been amazing. So your events are Taekwondo in the summer games and skiing in the winter. I'm curious, how do you ski in Tonga, which is an island in the, <laughs> in the South Pacific, an average temperature of 86 degrees? Not, not very successfully, I can tell you this. So where do you uh, we, train? We put a, well, we have a roller ski. So roller skis are somewhat of uh, a, a version of skis that you can use on a, on a flat path. And um, yeah, it hasn't snowed in Tonga for 10, 20,000 years since the Ice Age. So uh, I haven't been able to actually put on real skis there. Well, it's a beautiful country. You became a global sensation, Pita, in 2016, as I said, in the games in Rio. We have some images from those games of you competing. And of course, the one question I hear most often when it comes to you and looking at some of those images is, what's the deal with the coconut oil? <laughs> I, I knew this question would come. The, uh, the, I wouldn't be a true journalist coconut. if I didn't ask about the oil. Uh, <laughs> Where are the pictures? Absolutely. <laughs> The, uh, the coconut oil is traditional. It's something that we, we do in Tonga all the time whenever there's traditional or cultural uh, dancing or any events. So I didn't think it would be such a big deal until you know I, I went out there and it seems that uh, the, most of the world hadn't seen that sort of outfit with coconut oil on and then it, uh, it kind of kind of took off from there. It certainly did. All right, so all joking aside, I know that you are doing some really wonderful things for Tonga and helping kids. Tell us about some of your efforts back home. Yeah, so I, uh, I, I'm the Goodwill Ambassador to the Pacific for UNICEF. And, uh, you know, we do a lot of work trying to, you know, to develop the youth, uh, education, emergency relief as well. And uh, one of my dreams is to build uh, free exercise facilities for all of the youth in Tonga so that there's no barrier so that money or fun, you know, funds aren't a barrier to, to getting exercise and, and bringing in experts from around the world to come and run workshops. So that's one of the, one of the things that I'm passionate about. Well, that is wonderful, doing your part to help, help those in your community. Finally, will we be seeing you in Beijing in 2022? What are your plans? <laughs> Right now, my plan is just to uh, is just to get through the Summer Olympics first, <laughs> and then make any decisions after that. So uh, I've, I've brought my kayak paddle just in case that there's a spare lane that I can paddle my kayak here at the Olympics. So I haven't given up hope just yet, but um, you know, one step at a time. Jack of all trades, Peta. We thank you so much for joining us tonight live <laughs> from Tokyo. Congratulations on all your success. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, and thank you so much for having me. Of course. So the oil is a um, cultural thing. Thank you. Okay. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs>